All right, back again with another video, and I wanted to do my COMC order pickups here. And I just want to let you know that I kind of recorded it already, but I did not do a good job of it, and I'll explain why. A lot of these cards have a very, very tricky font on the back of them. It's not my eyesight. Is that, the, you know, these laser printers or whatever they choose to use, you know, use these microscopic fonts. So, you know, when you have a font that is on a brown background here, even people with good eyes, and then they have, like, this um, kind of like a thin font, um, you know, um, saying it was limited to X amount of number of cards, and I couldn't even read that. You can't even read it. It's not meant to be legible. Uh, somebody was mentioning that they really like the historic uh, autographs or the um, piece of the past or what, one of those pieces of history type cards there because of the history of the card. And these are a little bit better because they tell you something about the person on the back of it. But those cards said um, um, who it was on the front, or whatever, or maybe on the back, and that's all they told you. They just gave you the name and nothing else. So it's it's nice, you know, you get absolutely zero history with those cards, and you get a little bit with these. But really, all you need to do is have a set of vintage 1970s era encyclopedias at your house, and then you'll know a little bit more than the next person. So, without further ado, we'll do it in the order that I have kind of laying around here. The first card I have here, which is hermetically sealed, I won't open it, Savage Chief from the 1956. Uh, Davy Crockett set here. So um, there's that one there. I just want to make sure that that's the only card in there. And um, yeah, I didn't really want to open this, but we will have to do that just just cause. Oh, actually, there were two cards in there. So that was good that I did that. There's Savage Chief there. I don't know how far I'm getting on the set here, but I'm trying to buy the ones that are under a dollar. Um, or the ones that are right at a dollar. And there's Davy's Victory there. So, unfortunately, I do not have pages for those. And it's not good to put those in a box because no one can see them in the box there. I hate boxes and I despise boxes. You know all this, but uh, nothing new there. Let's get on to the next cards that I have here. Cadelco Conics. It doesn't really matter what set this is. This is from 2020 Tops. Star Wars Home... Uh, Star Wars uh, Holocron. And that's what that one is, is some sort of green parallel or something like that. So, you know, the thing about parallels is that no one's going to even be able to figure out any of this stuff here. I can't even figure it out cards of the last 20 years here. This is a 1950 uh, Topps Freedoms War here, and it was in really pretty good condition. They always list them as in really bad shape, but unless there's some sort of trimming that's going on here that I don't know of. This is Wiping Out Snipers. This is from 1950. I think it was like 50 cents or something crazy like that. So you can find deals on vintage cards there. And the nice thing about this is here, I got it for like not even a dollar, and my LCS will never in its lifetime ever have seen anything like this. So like, wow, what's that? You know, and they might have five dollars on it because had never seen it or $50. You just really again I don't know here. I have lots and lots of cards here. Don't miss be mistaken in buying these cards here. This is 50 cents here. 1974 Barrett or Bassett. It says Barrett World Cup Stars and it says Barrett um, Geo Bassett there. Barrett Division. Printed in England, series of 50. Now, what's interesting about this set here is a lot of people are getting these things graded because they're usually practically mint, and so there's no reason to get these graded because they were asking $100 or more for those cards here. And you can go to eBay and sometimes find the complete set for $25. So again, 50 cents a card is pretty good. But people rip out the stars and then try to jack up all the common prices. It's really not helpful to anyone. Um, then we have Butch Cassidy. This is from the Wild West Weekly set here, and this is what I was going on about here. There's um, two different parallels of this card here. This is the base version here, and the green one is the limited edition version. And so I have both of those. And so there's no numbering system for these. And then, but the green one on the back of it says limited 249. It does not give you any uh, special numbers or anything. So it's not like serial number, foil stamp, nothing. In the thinnest of thin ink on the back here, like they're trying to save ink, limited it to 249. That is absolutely the most ridiculous thing here. Other than the color of that, you would not know. Now, there are some cards in this set that are limited and not limited, and they're the exact same color and image on the front. Um, so, 
I don't know if you'll be able to read that or even see that. And this camera is not great here. But down here, there's some sort of, you know, like how it says Tops Chewing Gum Incorporated Upper Deck, you know. That's about how big that font is, maybe even smaller than that. So I almost didn't see that when I, when I was like, what is that? Where is it? So that was pretty awful. Then I got one of these. This is uh, Cadelco Conics. Here's some sort of mirrored card here. This is uh, Collect All 18 Cards, Heroes of the Resistance. So I may go ahead and do that at some point because those were not very expensive at all. Then we have two of these here. These are a Wild Chase. I might have gotten these because I have a few more of them, so I got a couple of those. It's just a very, very blurry parallel of some kind, you know, so a green and a black. But again, it's the vintage Star Wars style there, and I might like to collect a bunch more of those. Then these are the first ones of these that I've collected. I might try to see if I can find some more on eBay or something at one point or another. 1985 Back to the Future figurine Panini made in Italy. So this is uh, Michael J. Fox and his girlfriend there. I think it's just right about when Doc either arrived or came back. I'm not exactly sure the whole story of that one where that was. Yeah, but that's some, the DeLorean is in the background. So that's a neat one there to have. Those have eluded me for a while. Then this is Brian Folks, uh, Northampton Town, 1968. I wanted to say it was either 68 or 69. Um, and this is the Anglo Confectionery Limited of Halifax, England. The football quiz on the back here. And there is um, uh, Brian Folks there, right there. So nothing special there. It was under a dollar. Again, none of these. This is numbered to 99 or 199 here. Some sort of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, refractor of Jana. Jana, Jana. And this is, you know, Naomi uh, Aki. Number to 199 there on the front there where my finger is. That numbering is right there. I almost missed it the first time I looked at it. So there's that one there. Then we have Victoria Principal from Dallas. Why did I grab this one even though they have the complete set? Because there's different variations of the card of different puzzle packs. I did not know that when I first bought a set. So it was just a mixture of everything here. We have a Kenzatas 1930. I think it was 1935 to 1937. Uh, Kenzatas Henry set there. These were like 45 cents or something, so I had to get both of those. So there's that one there. And this is a Tari Tin Cigarettes or something like that. Uh, it says Dade Wicks and Sons. Um, yeah, so they might have different backs on there. Um, but yeah, this is a, there's, so there is that one, the Wicks and Sons uh, card there. And there's a big, big, big set here. So the Kenzatas set there. Then we have a uh, water lift here, or 1966. I, I just got rid of the uh, slip here. Uh, this is the uh, Green Berets from Philadelphia Gum, card number 33. So there's nothing special about that one, but it's got the lettering there. And another Kensitas with a big crease in it here, but I think it displays well. These things are really stuck in the penny slip. Uh, not that stuck, but there's some sort of fold in the card there, um, a perfect fold there, don't know why, but you will not be able to see that when you look at the card there. So there's another Henry card here. Massively huge set, I don't know what number that is. Then here is some sort of laser parallel, uh, lightsaber parallel card, uh, insert card of Luke Skywalker. I just thought that was cool and I wanted to get that. That was like 45, 50 cents for that one. Maybe not even that much. Then there's uh, Doc and Marty. Marty, we need to go back to 1955. And, you know, I don't know, stuff like that. I, I, I'm not, I don't have a good doc voice here. Marty! 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 Oh, there we go. There's a few Martys. Um, Marty! Uh, there's 149, so that is very cool to have those. Those eluded me for a long time. we got a bunch of more Wild West cards, and that's going to be... This is from the Wild West Weekly, if I have not mentioned that already. So we have um, Harvey, uh, Logan, Kid Curry... We have Frank James. Nice looking cards here, but you can't read the backs. You know, uh, Ned Buntline. It would have been nice if they had done something other than that dark brown back. Figured out some sort of font there, but yeah, that's really dreadfully hard to read. So if you want to ruin your eyesight, go ahead. Be my guest. Um, Pearl Hart. These were dirt cheap. These were dirt cheap. I mean, I have almost a complete uh, set and with all the parallels. Um, but I do need to get some of the other. There's some other limited editions. There's another Pearl Hart. Wyatt Earp. There's Harry Alonzo Longabau. John Wesley Harden. Again, these go on forever. I think it's like a 50 cards. Uh, I'm not sure. Ike Clanton. Um, this is card number five. And see, so um, 
trying to read that number there. I cannot could not have done that. So I use this trusty uh, Goodwill thrifted uh, magnifying glass here, and it is card number five. Salisbury was the brains and banking brawn behind Buffalo Bill. Yeah, you know, brains bank banking brawn behind Buffalo Bill Cody's Wild West show. He managed the show as it traveled across the world with hundreds of cowboys, a band of her band herds of horses, and live bison in tow. They also put up tents and staged saloons, Gowdy Wild West Weekly. And it's got the upper deck hologram back there. So I am the first one to show these on YouTube. No one has shown these. These are from 22, um, maybe 23, I don't know. Uh, Ned Buntline, that's the green one, numbered to two, or 249. Not say numbered, but limited to. And it doesn't, you know, John Wesley Harden again. And Bill Doolin, Jim Miller, and I will show you this Bill Doolin as well because um, I have the printing plate of Bill Doolin, or a printing plate. So that's the magenta printing plate. It was $15. Most of the printing plates were like $35, $40, $50. I don't really know. A lot of money. Um, but this is a one of one here. So one of one magenta printing plate, Bill Doolin. Congratulations, you have received a trading card. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't. I couldn't even tell you how much the packs were. I can't tell you anything about them because nobody has any kind of information. There's just checklists for them, and all the information is on web pages that are currently corrupt, so you can't read those. Then this is 2020. Uh, I thought this was um, later than that or before that, and this is bonded material shirt Ben Wishaw as Q uh, from Upper Deck, and this is Spectre. Um, it's a piece of um, his shirt, I believe. Yeah, so it's shirt. It's kind of trippy looking there, but there's a shirt and there's a picture of that there. So whether it's that exact shirt or it's a backup shirt, because some of these guys had three and four or five shirts. You know, one got really dirty, one got even dirtier, one got for another scene, and so on and so forth. Then I picked up one of these for my set build here, Henrik Stenson. There's that one there. I don't remember if that was one of the later cards or one of the other ones I picked up here uh, towards the end of the order. Get some of these papers out of the way here. Then these have been really cheap here and really amazing condition. This is the man from Uncle, 65 cents for that one, and this is card number two. And then there is piece of the back of Robert Vaughn. That's probably him or something in the back there. I'm not exactly sure. So there is that one. Then we have Grayson Murray, and he's the golfer that just died recently. And I got this before anybody went to COMC. They were all going to eBay. And I, I grabbed this here for probably $2. It was maybe two fifty at that. And I needed the sign of the times for my set before it got up to $50. So I was able to snag that one early on. So that was kind of interesting. I don't usually like to do that. In fact, here's a second Grayson Murray, and I did not realize I already had one in my in my previous order. So this is card number 288 out of 799. So it's not a particularly rare card, but it's probably about a $50 card right now. It's really unfortunate these things have to change that way, but they were cards that I technically needed for my set builds anyway. All right, so on to the next batch of cards here. Um, again, there's a lot of them in here, and uh, we'll try to get to the rest of these here. And I think the rest of them for here on out, except for maybe a few, are Wild West Weekly. Uh, did I show you the Davy Crockett ones? I think I did. So, yeah, Davy's Victory and Savage Chief. So there are those if I did not show those. Um, yeah, those are from 1956. And then we've got a Grayson Murray ball marker as well. Now, a lot of people think that that's a ball marker he used, and it isn't. It's just something that was just thrown in there. I think there's two different versions of that, maybe. One says PGA Tour, and the other one says Upper Deck or something like that there. And it's just, you know, uh, it's just a card to just uh, trick you into thinking you're getting something better than you actually are. And then that's all that is. This one's a question of sport. I don't remember what year this is. And I have just lost the slip of paper. I need to save this. The, okay, this is Jonathan Boyer on the back. So this is Jonathan Boyer, some sort of Olympic, or he's like a, a Tour de France or something like that uh, from the United States. I could not find Jonathan Boyer. What's really interesting is there's a lot of uh, important cyclists and they're not on uh, Star Tiger. So Jonathan Boyer, a question of sport. That was his only card. Hopefully I can get him to autograph that, but I need to figure out where he is first. Uh, so that's really unfortunate. I don't know where he is. Um, we have um, Sam Bass. So there's the green variety of the Sam Bass there. 
and we had a few more other ones over this way, this way, this way. I'm trying to get the cards all to a minimum here. I actually shipped out a whole bunch of cards today, so that should make room for all these new ones here. Then we have Neil, or sorry, Ike Clanton. We have Ed a Place. Charles Buffalo Jones. Herman Haynes, or Newman Haynes Clanton. Sitting Bull. So these are nice cards on the front side of it, so you might want to pick these up. But if you want to read them, just forget about it. That was Jesse James. Tom Ketchum. We have Texas Jack. Oh, Durando. I don't even tell me about that one. Wild Bill Hickok. We have Billy Clanton. Again, so the parallels and the base cards will have the exact same photographs. No different. That's always frustrating. George Scarborough. We have General Custer. He doesn't look too happy. Um, Calamity Jane. We have Pat Garrett. We have the Green Frank Butler. We have a wanted poster. Now, there is a story about these wanted posters, okay? There is one wanted poster there, and this is limited to $4.99. So there's 500 wanted posters, 500 copies of this card, limited to $4.99. Now, um, let me see if I can find the other one here and get to it here. Oh my gosh, there is just a hodgepodge. And I did not get all the wanted poster cards. I wanted to. Now, here's the other wanted poster card here. So, this is Bell Star, and this is Bell Star. So, uh, there's very little difference. The picture's the same, but one says Dead or Alive, and one says Bell Star. So, that's the only difference is between the one it is numbered to $4.99, and the other one is not numbered at all. So, I... I thought there wasn't a difference, but it says Dead or Alive and Bell Star. So there is some sort of small difference on there. And there is some writing up on here. So that's good to note. But yeah, so if you're collecting those, I want to let you know that, and you cannot read the $4.99. It's in ridiculously mega tiny font there. Then we have uh, Calamity Jane, General Custer, Pat Garrett. Setting bowl. So if you've seen these before, um, it's because I have the both George Scarborough and I forgot a couple cards. Do you know who Lillian Smith is? That is Annie Oakley. So there's that one there. Then we have uh, Newman Haynes Clanton, Clanton, uh, Buffalo Bill Cody. We have this one here. This is Bell Star. So that's kind of a landscape Bell Star, and the Buffalo Bill Cody. We have Harvey. The Kid Curry Logan. We have this card here. It is the Compromise of 1850. So there's a little American Hair Frontier subset there, which is kind of cool. Kind of a little too dark of an image there for the camera there, but what can you do? And these are all these ridiculous brown back cards here, so that's not helpful at all. Really not helpful. I don't know if those are limited to anything. It says say anything here. It does not say they're limited, so but you can see the upper deck hologram just barely right there. Um, I don't know, their holograms are not as good as they used to be. They're just really pretty chintzy. Um, the quality of cards have really have gone down. People tell you they're going up with all the fancy stuff, but they're just tricked into some of these old schemes here. California admitted to the, as 31st state. We have uh, first transcontinental telegraph. This video is going longer than the previous one, even though I'm doing a better job. First transcontinental railroad. Billy Clanton. Uh, Charles Buffalo Jones, Wild Bill Hickok, Texas Jack O something or other, and Jesse James. So there's all those guys there. We have Bill Doolin, Harry Alonzo Longabaugh. We have Nate Salisbury. So there's those three green ones there. And again, I'm missing one or two of those cards here. Sam Bass, no fault, or a fault of my own, but it was where their shopping cart worked and I had to start all over from scratch, Bell Star. Nothing like putting a hundred and some cards in your shopping cart and have to start over Wyatt Earp. And we got three more cards here, four more cards. At a place, Jim Miller, Frank, James, and we have um, Gowdy, or uh, sorry, uh, Yellowstone First National Park. So these are the Wild West Weekly or Gowdy. Uh, there's that. And again, I'm the first person to show these on YouTube. And there is Sam Bass. And I can think I can see if there's anything on the Sam Bass here. Now the bottom is limited to $4.99. So you can get uh, whatever the rest of the cards that nobody wanted here. Uh, the incentive for that set was was um, uh, the sketch cards 
and there was like some gold inserts with a little tiny fraction of gold on there and there's something else I think it was absolutely ridiculous so a piece of like a sort of Buffalo Bill program that they chopped up or something like that so really there was no incentive to buy that set but if you want to get a base set that's really stupid cheap go for the green ones maybe because they're supposedly limited but no one will know that because they're impossible to read but that is my COMC I am very very winded right now hope you enjoyed that show you some more cards that you will have have never seen that you will never see on YouTube again and thank you for watching